Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion and in this video we're going to be giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for the Landcool K65B. This is a case in their first night series and the benchmarks are going to be for the CPU temperatures, hard drive temperatures, motherboard and GPU temperatures. So we'll see how the uh, case performs and keeps everything cool inside the uh, system. So let's take a closer look at it and show you all the little details. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here on this case is the front panel. Um, we've got a nice brushed aluminum front panel here, nice and solid. You've got two 140 millimeter fans here uh, intaking air into the system and a little small uh, mesh here on the front. Three five and a quarter inch drive bays. These uh, are also aluminum but they pop out very easily and you've got your hard drive light and power light on the front here as well. So the front buzzel comes off pretty easy. You just grab the top here and pull. comes right off. Um, so you can take a closer look at the mesh on the front there. You can see we've got two filters here behind it to filter the air going into the system and keep the dust from getting in. These filters pop off pretty easily and that exposes the 140 millimeter fan there. Um, you also have your filler pieces here which pop out very easily and can be reused. And then we can pop the uh, front bezel back on just about as easily as it came off. And so you've got easy access to the whole front of the system. On the top of it, you've got your uh, power button and your reset button, as well as your hidden I.O. panel, hidden there behind a little connection with a USB 3 port, USB 2 port, headphone jack, and microphone jack included. On the left side of the case, you've got your main side panel here, um, and you've got support here for either 240 millimeter fans or 220 millimeter fans. You can sort of see that it's stopped up right now too. Landco put a piece of sound dampening rubber in there, so if you're not using the fans, then you're not going to get all the sound coming out of the case, coming into the room from your all your internal components that have uh, cooling on them. On the rear here, we can see that we've got our motherboard I.O. port here, a 120 millimeter fan exhausting air out of the case, and two water cooling grommets, so you can run tubing into it. You've got your uh, eight expansion ports. Um, these are reusable blanks, so if you take them out and you move your cards around, you can reuse them. And then you've also got the bottom mount power supply section here which has a filter on it as well. On the bottom, you've got four rubber case heat um, that are on there very well and a filter for your power supply intake um, on the bottom. So let's take a look at the inside of the case. So here we have the inside of the Langool K65B. First I just want to show you the filler piece that's on the internal side panel. Um, so you've got a little thin piece here blocking the air from coming in and also blocking the noise from coming out so this isn't going to interfere with anything if you're not using those two side fans. For hard drives you've got six three and a half inch drive um, bays here as well as two two and a half inch drives can be installed on top of the um, each of the drive hard drive cages. These hard drive cages are modular to some degree you can pull out the top one or um, you can also flip these around so depending on whether you want your hard drive uh, connectors facing the left side or the right side you can set it up either way and for your five and a quarter inch drive bays 
you've got a toolless lock down here that just pops open and is on a hinge and there's actually a little piece of rubber on these to help hold the thing and hold the uh, five and a quarter inch drives in place and dampen the sound. On your motherboard tray you've got a heat sink cutout um, and your standoffs are pre-installed for an ATX, a standard ATX board as well as you've got some cable management holes all through the the whole right side of the motherboard tray and a couple towards the bottom of it as well as a large space underneath the motherboard tray for running all your cabling through. For the power supply mounting area you've got rubber on uh, it for rubber on the area that the power supply is going to sit so you can it'll reduce the vibrations from the power supply going into the chassis and your all your expansion ports are held in place with thumb screws closer look at our 120 millimeter fan here and our headers you've got an HD audio header and a USB 3 header since there's no USB 2 header both the ports on top even though one's black and one's blue are actually USB 3 ports and you've also got your motherboard headers for your power switch, reset switch, power LED, and hard drive LED here. Your fans all have three pin connectors on them, um, but Landcool includes the converter to convert that three pin connector to a four pin Molex if you just want to run your fans at full speed and not run them off your motherboard. On the back side, of the case you've got a track here for running all your cabling through um, it's a pretty nice setup here so you can run your cabling into it and run it out the sides as you need but it'll keep everything neat right down the, the center um, support of the case here and your two fan connectors for the front 140 millimeter fans you can see there's a little bit of space here behind the motherboard tray probably about three quarters of an inch so you'll be able to fit all your cabling behind the uh, motherboard tray and keep the case neat. For the accessories we've got a installation guide um, shows you each step of the way for installing a system into the motherboard. I'll also be doing an installation video on this case too that you can check out. We've got a speaker and some zip ties as well as the rubber grommets to dampen the vibration of your hard drives. Thumb screws for your installing your three and a half inch drives. You've got your power supply, four power supply screws and motherboard screws. They actually include thumb screws that you can use for motherboard installation as well. And screws for your two and a half inch drive installation. Let's take a look at the benchmarks for the Landcool PC K65B. I hope you all enjoyed this overview video and benchmarks for the Landcool K65B. Um, for the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Take care.